So I was reported to the FAA again, and at this point in time, it's really no surprise. I've lost track of how many times I've been reported, and every single time, it's a non-issue. I think it's just a matter of fact of having a large enough audience. You will come across people that are trying to take you down or get you in trouble for no apparent reason. This case was no different. I just got official word that the case has been closed and I'm not in any trouble. For this case in particular, for the sake of privacy, I'm not going to mention any names, the place, or the time that this event occurred. So we're gonna speak in kind of general terms. Before we get into that though, today, the day you are viewing this video, November 4th, is the last day to enter our Risky Biscuits Co. MacFly Paramotor giveaway. I've got this sweet tricked out MacFly paramotor powered by a Moster 185. It's only got a couple hours on it, the hours I've flown it on video. And one of you lucky people will be getting chosen in the next week to win this paramotor. How do you get entered into the giveaway? Visit the first link in the description. Every $5 spent on tuckergot.com until midnight on the 4th gets you one entry to win. Today is the final shot, so when this video is over, be sure you get entered. So let's talk about what I got reported for in generic terms. I have a video on YouTube that's been on there for a little while where I took off from and flew through Class D airspace. If you know anything about paramotors, we're allowed to fly within uncontrolled airspace, Class E and G. However, for controlled A, B, C, and D airspace, we need prior permission. Normally, that entails talking to the tower to gain permission, either by phone call, email, or radio contact. To the complainee's credit, in this video, I did not mention that I specifically did get permission from the tower. The interesting thing is though, the person that complained basically triangulated my location, found it on a map, transferred it over to a sectional chart to see where the airspace was, found that I was within the limits of the Class D airspace and flew through the Class D airspace, and reported me for basically breaching controlled airspace in my paramotor. Thing is, in the video, I just didn't mention that I already had prior permission. On the day of that flight, a few hours prior, one of my friends called up the tower, told him our intentions of launching from and flying through the airspace, how many people were in our group, and where and when we would be taking off from. The tower in this scenario said that that is no issue at all. Have fun, fly safe, you guys have permission, everything was cool. So now I'm going to share with you guys some very short snippets of the phone call I had with the FAA, basically sharing how I handled it and uh, what their response was. It was very plain and simple, straightforward. Hey, this is Tucker Gott. I received an email from you this morning, so I'm just following up. Hey, Tucker, how are you, man? Not too bad. How are you? Good, good. Hey, first of all, uh, I enjoy watching your videos, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, and here's the view. You know, uh, we received a lot of complaints about uh, these other motors, people, you know. So, uh, uh, I'm straight from one. So, somebody sent an email to you. And uh, what do you think about his, uh, his complaint? Yeah, so I just refreshed my memory on the whole situation because it was just over a year ago. And uh, we did, where we took off was within the Class D airspace. And we did contact the tower prior to launch um, and just stated our intentions, what our course was. And uh, it was a friend of mine who made the phone call and I spoke to him this morning and he confirmed they were just very relaxed about it, said not an issue at all. We told them uh, what time we were planning to take off and uh, that was like our permission, I suppose. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. And uh, I will take care of the rest of me and then if I have an additional question, I will contact you via email. But I appreciate it for your phone call back and all this kind of stuff. In the future, I would advise you, you know, try to get uh, like some kind of email to send to the ATC, to the tower, so you can protect yourself even more. Yeah. I, uh, I plan it, and you have the email, and have a question. Situations come like that, but hey, I send email, here's a response. Yeah, that's a good point, and that's what I was kind of wondering if there would be any record of a phone call, or if that's not something they keep track of at all. Feel free to call me anytime. Sounds good. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, my friend. Have a great day. 
Thanks, you too. Bye. So some reflections on that phone call. That's basically exactly how I expected things to go. In my experience, the FAA has been pretty relaxed in these scenarios. I figured all they wanted to know was one, that I was aware I was flying in controlled airspace and also that I had gotten permission. After that was said, there's really not much more to dive into. For future reference, anyone that's flying paramotors, it is important to be very aware of your airspace. And in a lot of cases, if you are in a situation where you need to fly in or through controlled airspace, normally it's just a matter of a phone call. And like we discussed on the phone, in the future, it would be wise to actually get an email so that you have written permission. The only thing about that is an email is better because it's written proof versus a phone call but it's a little less time sensitive. If you're in a crunch, sometimes a phone call can be returned faster than an email. So maybe get both, I don't know. The other thing is, in my experience so far, the FAA kind of gets a bad rap for trying to be out to get you, but in reality, they're always nice, they're always considerate, they don't want to get you or chase you down or try to fine you for anything unreasonable. As long as you're following the rules and you cover yourself and you know what you're doing, they've always been very reasonable with me. Outside of that, that's my latest interactions with the FAA. Now that the video is over, like I mentioned, today's the last day to enter the giveaway. So be sure you do that right now. First link in the description. Check out our new merch like this shirt I'm wearing now. Get a purchase made, get some entries, and in the next week, I'll be sending out an announcement video so you guys can see who won the MacFly Paramotor. Hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate all your support. Till the next one, have fun, fly safe, peace. Bzz, bzz.